I want to talk to you about grocery delivery services for shoppers and consumers. Very important. I want to emphasize that we're going to discuss in today's conversation. We are going to talk about shoppers and consumers. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to do a comparative analysis of a, a few players here. We have Instacart. We have Shipt. We have Walmart Plus. We have Buxed. And we have Stop and Shop. And again, we are talking about grocery delivery services for shoppers and consumers. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ought to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to do a quick comparative analysis of uh, five players when we talk about grocery delivery. And uh, I want to actually analyze those five players from the perspective of shoppers and consumers, okay, so that we have a dual analysis here. So let's start with Instacart. So when you think about Instacart, first of all, you have a minimum minimum order that actually oscillates from eight dollars to ten dollars. Okay, in some case, in some places in the country, it's fifteen dollars, and they have a del delivery fee that starts at three ninety nine for non members. Now they have a, a membership plan, okay, Instacart Express. Again, it depends on, they actually customize the, their plan based on the, the location of uh, the customer, okay? You can pay $99 a year or $9.99 per month for free delivery on all orders over $35. So when you think about Instacart, I want you to think about grocery de delivery that you can count on. They are one of the biggest players in the, in the, in the industry. You choose what you want, you see real-time updates, and you get your items the, the same day, okay? And, or you can pick a convenient time for you. It's totally good, okay? And uh, so they also have an Instacart delivery and curbside pickup work. Uh, uh, they have a curbside pickup. In other words, you're able to actually uh, get your, your orders faster, okay? They have a selection of more than 500 retailers and trusted local grocers across North America. So their their catalog of uh, suppliers is very great, okay? And uh, so Instacart worked very, very quickly. Once you sign up and you pay for, and you choose your, pay, your payment plan, whether you want to be a member or not, things go real fast, okay? Now, you, you, you may not pay the same price on Instacart as you would be in the store because they also have to survive. So they're adding their little commission. It's very important now. If there is an issue with your order, what will happen is that you have uh, you have options. You can either go through the app or the website. You can report missing items, incorrect items, damaged items, poor replacement, early late orders. If you never if your order never came, or you get someone else order, you can reach out to Instacart. What they have, what they call a uh, Instacart Care. Okay, and the thing here is that it's, it's really good to remember that. Now that's for the customer customer's perspective. What about the shopper? As a store shopper, you are paying on average $15.75, $15.75 per hour on average, okay? This will go up and down depending on where you live in the country and whatnot, okay? Now, the working conditions are generally positive, okay? Generally positive. Now, you can be a full-service Instacart shopper or an in-store Instacart shopper, okay? And remember, you can also have, and if you are full-service Instacart shopper, you complete all aspects of Instacart orders. Okay, so this is kind of cool. And and the thing is that after accepting an order, also known as a batch, this Instacart shoppers shop for requested items at their local grocery stores. Okay, and then they deliver them straight to customers. Okay, and this is usually the case in markets with little demand and few orders. Okay, and how does Instacart calculate pay? Well. It depends on how many items are in each order they fulfill, the distance between the store and the customer's delivery address, incentives available during the time of delivery, and tips given to them by generous customers, okay? And so you have to think about your batch incentive, your distance, your current demand, and tips. So minimum batch payment can be uh, between $7 and $10, but the average, as I said before, is uh, $15.75, uh, $15 okay? They also have Instacart bonuses. This is totally possible. So overall, this is a great platform to work for. I want to talk to you about Walmart Plus. Let's have a conversation about that. Well, Walmart Plus, the delivery free 
the delivery fee is is a free with membership okay so membership with uh, walmart plus starts at 98 dollars per year depending on where you live in the country or 12.95 per month for free deliveries and a 35 dollar minimum okay so this is kind of cool now when we talk about walmart plus you have to think about the fact that you have the biggie the big walmart retail stores behind it right this this actually, uh, the Walmart Plus is trying to compete with uh, Amazon Prime because you have to understand that Amazon Prime started up about 17 years ago. Walmart Plus actually started about five years ago. So you have the Delta here. However, Walmart Plus has been able to catch up real time because uh, they are strong. They are, they are, you know, they are giants in the retail space. And, and the cool thing I want to say here is that uh, Walmart Plus is definitely, definitely, definitely moving up. They actually, uh, they actually uh, started about two years ago, but they started mulling over the, the idea about uh, five to seven years ago after they bought Jet.com. If you remember, they bought Jet.com. So Jet.com was an e-commerce store similar to Amazon. And Walmart actually revamped it and really biffed it up. Okay. So when you think about Walmart Plus, you have home delivery. So as a shopper, you sign up for the service and you can actually uh, get your you get, get your grocery in-store at the pump. It's, it, it's totally possible. Okay. And uh, so in store, okay. And but you also th you have to think about the distance from the st from the nearest Walmart store to to you uh, to your place, okay. How does it cost? How much does it cost? I said I said this before, ninety eight dollars a month, a year rather, or thirteen dollars a month, if you decide against a yearly subscription, okay. But it also depends. You the cool thing is you have a thirty day free trial period, so this is really good, okay. And the question is, is it really worth it? Well, it is because if you think about, based on our analysis, and when you think about the retail footprint of Walmart across the country, it's really worth it, okay. And uh, what are the store shoppers, uh, what is a store shopper's average uh, salary? Well, a store shopper will earn $15.38 per hour on average, okay. In terms of working conditions, they're a lot better, way, way better. Because uh, the store shoppers are sort of similarly, they're, I think they're thought of as uh, Walmart personnel, okay? Some are, are, some are not. So they actually benefit from all the uh, the major improvements in labor law that we have seen in this country. So it, it's really better than if you were to think about a, an Instacart shopper, okay? We think it's a lot better. The only problem is that Instacart has a has been dominating this industry for a while. So you you got to think about what's important for you. But in terms of uh, star shopper shoppers, the salary and working conditions, fantastic. I want to talk to you now about stop and shop. So when you think about stop and shop, minimum order for this is sixty dollars. You can see the delta here. The other two were $35 here. The minimum order is $60. In some places in the country, it goes to $75, okay? And uh, so delivery fee oscillates from $295 to $995 if you are a, a, a consumer. There is no membership, okay? That's what it is. Now, if you are a fan of Peapod, I don't know if you remember this, Peapod, the delivery app, that this app has been acquired by Stop and Shop, okay, which exclusively delivers from the grocery chain, okay. Therefore, th this service is only available in Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New York, and Rhode Island, where Stop and Shops are located, okay. So this site features virtual aisles, and uh, it's much easier to just search for specific products. And the thing, the cool thing is that even though they have some geographic limitations, they have beefed up. They actually improved their service in the last few years. What we love is that we love the user friendliness of uh, the whole process. So when you click on the product, you get an in-depth look at the nutritional values and the ingredients, which is a nice feature considering that you can't see the specs on an Apple when shopping online. Okay, so you have to think when you think about stop and shop, you have to think about a niche market. If you are you, you are in the geography is the cover and you are that type of consumers who really cares about ingredients who really cares about nutritional values who really cares about diet dieting who really cares about the the uh, all the important parts of a, of a, i would say a, of a veggie or as a fruit of a fruit or whatever you might want to think about stop and shop you can also make suggestions for substitutions if your desired item is, uh, is out of stock okay and so after you're done shopping you can select the delivery time and select whether you'll be home or not and you can choose in-store pickup and waive the delivery fee it's totally up to you in terms of uh, the store shoppers uh, salary or hourly rate 
is uh, the average is twelve dollars and thirty three cents per hour. In terms of working conditions, well, it's a lot better. But the, the only problem is this whole thing is geo limited, is geo restricted. So you have only five. You only have a five uh, five um, states. Okay, so if you are in those five states, it's really great. Now, we have, after doing research, we see that Stop and Shop is great for teens and young adults. Okay, if you are a teen or young adult and you are in the five in the five states I just mentioned, New Jersey, New York, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Massachusetts, you will love Stop and Shop. Let's talk about ships. So when you think about shift, I want you to think about the flexibility. Shift has no minimum order, which is really great. They do charge a $10 delivery fee, okay? And uh, you have membership shipped every day, $99 a year for free deliveries on orders over $35, okay? So when you think, so like Instacart, shipped ships groceries from local grocery stores, as well as items from retailers like Target, Bed Bath and & Beyond and Petco, okay? And the cool thing is you can get your haul delivered as soon as one hour after ordering. And you can place your an order whenever the store is open, including 24-7 stores. And the shipped shopping page heavily focuses on deals with icons showing various sale pages on specific groceries, toys and more, okay? So adding, adding items to cart is very easy. And you, you, when you go to checkout, the site tells you how much you have saved from not going to the store, okay? I mean, basically you have saved, how do you check that? Well, <laughs> you know, well, it's a good, it's a feel good stat if you were to ask me. So once you go to checkout, just select your delivery time and add any spe special uh, instructions. Now, the delivery will cost you $10 or you can reduce that price by signing up for Shipt every day for $99, okay? Now, as a store shopper for Shipt, you are being paid an average of $14.50 per hour on average. Okay. In terms of working conditions, they are good. They are good. The, the, the thing is, depending on where you actually live in the country, ship will treat you good. You can even make up, you can make uh, all the way to $20 an hour. Okay. And so when selecting orders, you, you always want to make sure that you are actually, uh, you are not really far from the customers. Okay. You want to see orders that are within 20 to 30 miles away because that's, the, that's the whole thing. Remember, you are an independent contractor for ships, okay? So you got to think about things like gas expenses, okay? Because you don't want all the, the gas to go into to your to, to eat away at your at your pay, okay? And uh, so, but as a shipped shopper, you can actually make upwards of thirty dollars. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, okay. And if and uh, and the cool the cool thing is you can actually uh, you can actually combine the, a shipped gig with a, an Instacart gig. Or a DoorDash gig, or an Uber Eats gig. The problem, the whole thing is, if you are in that delivery uh, service space, you can actually integrate multiple uh, multiple platforms. You don't have to be uh, only with ships, okay? And uh, so, how do ship shoppers get paid? Well, they get paid. Uh, they have the choice of having their earnings deposited weekly every Monday morning, okay, as well as instant cash out available up to five times a day for a charge of about forty nine cents for each cash out. Okay, so this is really fine. If not, they will pay you every Friday via the red deposit. Let me talk about Boxed. So this is the fifth player in today's conversation. And uh, so when you think about Boxed, I want you to think about a minimum order of $49 for free shipping. So if you want free shipping, you got to order minimum $49, okay? And for delivery, they actually charge you a $7 delivery fee on orders under $49, okay? For membership, you have the box stop, which costs you $49 per year for free shipping on all, on all orders, 2% cash rewards, and additional discounts. Now, if you are a boxed, a boxed customer, I would definitely um, actually recommend that you actually get the, the membership. It's cheap, $49 a year. That's really good. And you have a, a constellation of benefits, okay? So when we think about Box, we think about a platform that specializes in bulk groceries and household supplies. You want to think about an online Costco, okay? So this is really fine. So navigating the site, in our view, is very simple. You can also browse via the Box app. So after placing an order, you simply wait for your shipment to arrive. You can get. You can also get, get the perishable goods shipped in bulk, like milk, eggs, fruit, and veggies with Boxed Express, okay? So note that this selection is more limited and those shipments have different minimum orders and de delivery fees like any other grocery delivery service, okay? 
So one thing we would love is that, so if, if you basically, you can sign up for Pax, they give customers access to free shipping on all orders, okay, over $19.99. But in some cases, in most cases in the, in the country, it has to be $49, okay? You can join Boxstar for $49, and uh, they actually... Uh, they actually take care of you. They will, if you are a box stuff customer, they actually uh, they actually um, help you get better in terms of uh, your uh, your deliveries. Okay, and the box stuff perks include special discounts, promotions, giveaways, gifts with purchase, and experience and experiences exclusively available to box stuff customers. Okay, this is really good. What we love is they also have box for business. So it's just the way they're trying to reach business customers. They are trying to do the B two B. This is really good. So, the, so they will actually deliver to you, to your business, the the essentials you need, delivered on time and in budget. Okay. And they have a lot of uh, features. They have a, a very central way to actually manage your orders. You can also you can also do customized ordering for your organization. Okay. So you can have multi-user accounts and group ordering. They're available along with tax exempt purchasing. You can pay in full. Okay. So Box for Business offers multiple payment options, including credit card and, and uh, debit card and invoicing for qualified accounts through a partner okay so the bottom line is cool now for as a store shopper you earn $16.74 per hour on average working conditions are really good with with box the working conditions are, are generally good and uh, the, you can see the pr the salary is a little above it, this is because they actually only allow bulk orders and um, those tend to be uh, more expensive they tend to be, uh, I, I would say, uh, heavier. And so you are compensated as a store shopper for that. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sort of Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation today about uh, we're doing an, a comparative analysis of uh, the grocery delivery services. And I want to have a quick conversation about how to choose a meal delivery service. How do you go about that? How do you make sure that you are picking the right one? Okay. Regardless of where you are located, regardless of the type of food that you need. Okay. So choosing a meal delivery service, you got to think about a few things. Very important. First, what is the type? Okay. Think about the type of meals that the delivery service provides. Okay. Number two, you have to think about the meal options. Think about their available meal options because the whole thing is you want to make sure that the, the meal they deliver, the meals they deliver, your family love, loves those meals. Okay. Or you love those meals. Think about your dietary needs and preferences. It's really important to find a meal delivery service that provides options that are suitable for your needs and preferences. Think about variety. The constellation of, uh, of uh, goods, of meals they offer is really important. Well, think about the style and complexity of dishes. Okay, so when we talk about grocery delivery service, you have to think about what is the, what kind of, what is the style. Okay, think about the nutritional quality. I mean, this depends on your on your on your needs, of course. Okay, it depends on your preferences. But think about what what type of goods, what type of meals, what type of groceries do they deliver? What about portion sizes? Is it restricted? Because uh, does Instacart tell you, hey, you have a, a minimum order or a maximum order? What about the ingredient quality? Think about that too. Are you into veggies? Are you into fruits? Are you into uh, uh, are you into um, fish products or meat products, whatever it is, okay? What about sustainability? Think about that too. What kind of packaging do they have? What kind of, uh, so what is the, their overall uh, packaging system? Or do they have a sustainable uh, process in place? And you can read about all this by watching shows like this, or you can actually go online and read reviews, okay? What about the price? Is the price acceptable to you? Okay, so many grocery delivery services can range quite a bit in, term, in terms of cost. And when we talk about price, some want you to have a membership plan. Some want you to have a minimum order. So those are things you want to think about. What about the delivery area? Okay, are you in an area that, that they actually deliver to? It's very important. And what about their customer reviews? 
those are things you want to pay attention to because the bottom line is that you want to make sure that you want to go on websites such as Trustpilot, Triple B, so Better Business Bureau, Consumer Affairs. You want to read, you want to read everything you can about delivery, quality, or customer service. Let me share with you a few pro tips. And here are some alternatives to the services that I have reviewed into this program, okay? So you have Fresh Direct. The minimum order here is $30, and the delivery fee starts at $6, okay? In terms of the membership, you have delivery pass, $79 for every six months, or $129 a year for unlimited free deliveries. Now, this is geo-restricted, that is geo-restricted, okay? You got to live in a certain geography to actually qualify for this. So Fresh Direct, they are in New York City, New Jersey, Philadelphia, or the greater Washington, D.C. area. Okay, so that's what it is. You also have Thrive Market. So Thrive Market, the minimum order is $49. Okay, they do have um, they have a delivery fee that's included with the membership. Membership, they want you to pay $9.95 a month or $60, $59 a year. Okay. So one thing you need to understand is that while Thrive Market doesn't deliver fresh produce, it is a great place to supplement your grocery runs with grains, snacks, specialty items, beauty products, and other non-perishable goods. Okay, and uh, but you need to have a membership to use Thrive Market. You also have Misfits Markets. That's another player that we love a lot. And the minimum order here is thirty nine is thirty dollars. Okay, they have a delivery fee of a five fifty five fifty depending on where you live, but the membership is free so that's where we love that and um, so with uh, misfit you get a lot of savings because it's it's really it's it's not it's not products that are appealing to you visually but they're still nutritionally uh, fine okay and uh, so one thing you need to understand is you'll receive a box a box packed with uh, seasonal produce a lot of which is organic sourced from local farms and food hubs in the United States However, it's different in that it provides more than just produce and conveniently ships right to you. Okay, so this is really good. And we love the fact that their boxes are weatherproof, so your groceries won't spoil in heat or rain. And that there is such a variety of groceries and produce to shop from. You can choose what goes into your box based on what's available that week. Okay, so Misfits delivers in most states across the country and membership is free. So this is really good. This is another way of... Uh, of encouraging sustainable farming if you are in that kind of a analytical uh, niche if i were to call it that way if you are one of i mean we personally believe this is fantastic it is really fantastic and we support this sort of misfits market because you want to support local farmers and you want to buy foods that are in season You also have imperfect foods, okay? And as the name implies, the food doesn't look perfect, but it is still nutritionally good. So here, the minimum order is $30 to $45. The delivery fee oscillates from $4.99 to $8.99. Okay, there's no membership, okay? So if you are okay with fruits and veggies that are not perfect specimens, you can save money by shopping at imperfect foods. Every week, you'll get a box of fresh produce delivered right to your door. Okay, so boxes will vary in size depending on the number of people that stay in your household, but they are fully customizable. You can pick from uh, from more than 500 items each week, including produce with cosmetic quirks, if you if you see what I mean, along with other groceries like oils, dairy, dairy or meat, and pantry staples. Okay, so imperfect produce, actually imperfect food, foods rather. They d deliver currently to the West Coast, Southwest, Midwest, and Northeast. Okay. And that's really good. You wouldn't pay any membership or service fees, though, just a delivery fee. And you have your mommy card. And here, the uh, the minimum order is thirty dollars, and the delivery is free if over forty nine dollars. Otherwise, it's six ninety nine. Okay, and there's no membership. So for anyone who loves cooking Asian cuisine at home, your mommy card may be the best grocery delivery service you've been searching for. Okay, think of it as your favorite Asian grocery store, but in virtual form on its website you can browse everything from noodles and grains to snacks and sweets to meat and tofu okay if there is something you need for homemade sushi or pad thai you will find it there so we love uh, 
on my card a lot and they were very uh, they're very uh, affordable you also have to think about public goods you have minimum order forty to five dollars and a delivery fee this is free for orders 49 45 dollars and up and the membership is currently at 79 dollars per year okay so when you think about public goods i want you to think about minimalism okay why you won't find a lot of products those that are available are high quality and there's something to be said for not having thousands of choices to sift through really okay and uh, so really it's really great you can find pantry must-haves from coffee to cereal condiments grains canned foods and even wine so this is really good so shipping is free okay and if you spend uh 45 dollars or more it is free otherwise the delivery fee will depend on the weight and size of your orders okay so this is really good and one thing i want to say here is that we also love the fact that they are they are actually encouraging they're all also fostering sustainable shipping sustainable farming okay and so this, this is really great so the whole thing is they want to minimize waste as much as possible we love that so after analyzing those five players here is our decision so instacart versus shipped versus walmart plus versus box versus stop and shop which one should you choose it really depends on a lot of things it depends on your on your location it depends on your culinary tastes it depends on the kind of speed that you're expecting in terms of delivery. It depends on their pricing. How much are you willing to pay for the goods themselves, but also for the delivery? Are you willing to pay a membership? So you have to, I'm just giving you a few things you have to think about. You have to actually um, integrate in your analysis, okay? So in our view, based on our analysis, for consumers, our decision, our best pick is Walmart Plus for consumers. So we have actually uh, rated Walmart Plus 9.8 over 10, Instacart 9.6 over 10, Shipped 9.1 over 10, Boxed 8.8 over 10, and Stop and Shop 8 over 10. So for consumers, our pick is Walmart Plus. For shoppers, our pick is Instacart. So we have actually rated Instacart 9.5 over 10, Walmart Plus 9.4 over 10, Boxed Up 9, 9 over 10, shipped 8.7 over 10 and stop and shop 8.3 over 10 so again for shoppers for 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 shoppers instacart is our choice thank you so much for your, your attention i really appreciate it i will see you next time but until then remember stay marvelous <laughs>